Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be Lost Media Category number 14. Today's video is 1973 Medal of Honor. 1973 Medal of Honor Firecracker 400. Partially found footage of NASCAR Winston Cup Series Race 1973. Uh, so it's partially found. It's lost media, but it's been partially found. But we get we'll get into that soon. The nineteen seventy three Medal of Honor Firecracker four hundred was the seventeenth race of the nineteen seventy three NASCAR Winston Cup season. Occurring on 4th of July at the Daytona International Speedway. The race would ultimately be won by David Pearson in a 1971 Mercury. This would be the last Firecracker 400 race to return under the Medal of Honor moniker. It will also continue Pearson's dominant record in the last year's series. Background The 1973 Medal of Honor Firecracker 400 was the 15th running of the event, with its name reference to the fact it was held on the U.S. Independence Day. The race marketed the last instance of the Medal of Honor being utilized as part of the Firecracker 400 name which was used to show respect to those who earned the Congressional Medal of Honor. With the proceedings 1969 and 1971 versions of the race sharing that moniker, it was also the second 1973 NASCAR Winston Cup Series event to, help, to be held at Daytona International Speedway after the Daytona 500, which in 1973 occurred on 18th of February and was won by Richard Penny in a 1973 Dodge. The Firecracker 400 also ties to the modern Coke Zero Sugar 400 race, having dropped the Firecracker in name in 2019. Prior to the race, qualifying commenced with Bobby Allison winning the pole position in the 1973 Chevrolet at a top speed of 170 miles, 179 miles per hour. Followed Chevrolet driver Cole K Kale Yarborough qualified second ahead of 1973 Ford driver Bobby Isaac with Pearson sixth. Allison was aiming to break the fired Cracker 400 pole curse, where, where since 1959, no pole position winner would, would ultimately go on and win the event. The race itself marked the first instance where regular uh, regulations demanded new carb restrictions and Air, air take systems be inserted in all cars with intent to slow them down. The race. With the starting order decided, the 1973 Medal of Honor Firecracker 400 occurred on 14th of July. By lap 14, there were already seven lead changes with the top three of Allison, Yarborough, and Isaac contending for the first position. But on lap 14, Yarborough was able to hold on to the first position for 21 laps. Before resuming the duel with Allison, Yarborough race would end at on lap 605, however, following the crash triggered when a uh, Tire blew, resulting in his car slamming into the first turn wall. He would walk away from the class, albeit with a bruised forehead.
Allison's new rival were Pearson and Penny, but ultimately on lap 75, he continued the pole winner's curse when he retired following an engine failure. On lap 441, Pearson overtook Penny for the lead. The latter was still in contention for the last 10 laps of the event. However, attempting to overtake the Mercury on multiple occasions, Pearson, however, remained in control, winning ahead of Penny by six lengths and claiming a $16,100 in prize money. Both him and Penny were four laps ahead of Buddy Baker in the 1973 Dodge, who finished third. By winning this race, Pearson would wa was running a limited schedule for the series. He had now won eight of the nine races he started. Meanwhile, this would be Penny's third consecutive second place finish at the Firecracker Ford 400, with him never winning the event. Availability. According to NASCAR on TV, 45 minutes of highlights were broadcasted by ABC on July 28th, 1973 as a part of its wide world of sports alongside boxing championship between the United States and the USSR. However, the broadcast has yet to be resurfaced. As of present day, a small highlight package lasting over a minute can be accessed on YouTube and a few photos and newspaper clippings also help to document the race. So, <coughs> I'm going to show you those pictures, and I'm going to show you the race, the little clip of the race. Okay. I'm going to save the video for last. Uh, so here's a photograph providing a photo showing the start of the race. Uh, here's the crash after Yarbrough Chevrolet after hitting the wall. He hit the wall at, on lap whatever. He hit the wall because of a blown Tiber. And here's a newspaper article of the results of the race. Like I said before, Dan Pearson won the race. And here is a magazine for the event. <coughs> now I'm going to show you the video. It's only a minute long. There's a caution. This must have been when Dan Peter, when Kyle Yarbrough hit the wall. Yeah, sorry about the blurriness, guys. This is an old race, so it's gonna be blurry. Okay, that's the last lap. Checker flag. Dan Pearson won the race. David Pearson, Richard Petty, whoever that guy is, he won the race. Okay, guys. Well, guys, uh, well, guys, that was Lost Media number 14. Nineteen seventy three race at the Cracker Barrel four hundred. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace period.